This practical is about estimating the population of daisy plants on an area of lawn. And the area of lawn we're going to use is bounded by these two tape measures, five metres by five metres square. So the first thing we need to do is make sure that we can recognise a daisy plant. So down here we've got a collection of daisy plants and one of them's got a flower on it. We're not interested in the flowers, we're just interested in the plants themselves. So if we look down at the ground, we've got a collection of leaves in a circle, that's one plant, and next to it another plant, and another plant here. So that's several plants, and that's what we need to count. Don't worry that some have flowers and some don't, just ignore the flowers. Now it would take a very long time to count all the daisy plants in this five metres by five metre square. So what we're going to do is take a sample and use that to estimate the total population. And to do sampling, we need to use a piece of apparatus called a quadrat. Now a quadrat is a metal square like this one. This one's 50 centimetres by 50 centimetres. And I can place that on the ground and count the number of daisies within that quadrat. But I've got to think carefully about where I'm going to place the quadrat and how many quadrats I'm going to use and count the daisies within them so that I can sample my lawn. As a rule of thumb, we should put down enough quadrats to cover 10% of the area that we're sampling. So on my lawn, which is five metres by five metres, I'm going to put down 10 quadrats and I need to place them as randomly as possible. I'm trying to avoid something called bias. Bias is where I affect my results. So I might choose to put the quadrat down where I know there are lots of daisies, or I might put the quadrat down where there are no daisies, or I might avoid the edges of my sampling area. So to avoid that bias, we're going to use what's called a random number table. So the random number table is a list of generated numbers that I can use as coordinates and I can use my two tape measures as the axes of my grid. Now the first two numbers are 2 and 0. So using my tape measure axes, I'm going to place my quadrat at the first coordinate. So I'm going to place my quadrat at exactly 2 units in, that's 2 quadrat widths, so that's 50 centimetres, 100 centimetres, so that's my coordinate 2 and put the bottom left hand corner of my quadrat on that point and no units on the y-axis so the quadrat's going to lie exactly on the edge of the lawn here and then I'm going to count the daisies within that quadrat. So I'm having a look and I've got a daisy plant here and another one here and another one over here so that's three but I've also got some daisy plants that are right on the edge and I've got to decide whether to count those or not. So if I counted all of the daisy plants that touch the edge of the quadrat, I would actually overestimate the population of daisies on the lawn because I might end up counting some of those daisies twice while I was doing another quadrat alongside. And if I didn't count any of the daisies that were on the edge of the quadrat, then I would underestimate the population of daisies on the lawn because some daisy plants would never get counted. So what I'm going to do is count any daisy plants that are on the left-hand side of the quadrat or the bottom of the quadrat, if they're touching those sides, but not count any daisies on the top or right-hand side of the quadrat, only the ones that are inside or on the left-hand or bottom side. So in this particular quadrat, I've got one daisy plant here, one here, one touching here, so that's three, another one over here, that's four, but I'm not counting that one on the top edge there. So that's four on that particular quadrat. Now to move on to a second quadrat. The next set of coordinates on my random number table are one, four. So I move along one quadrat width, that's 50 centimetres on my bottom tape measure, and I go up four quadrat widths, that's two metres, on this tape measure and I find my coordinate and I put the bottom left hand corner of the quadrat at the point and I count the number of daisies in that quadrat. Now it just so happens that there are no daisy plants in that particular quadrat. That's fine, I need to write down that zero in my results table. So, so far I've got the results of two quadrats 
and I continue using my random number table until I've got 10 quadrat results. But if you remember, that means I've just sampled 10% of the lawn. So to get an estimate of the total number of daisies on this lawn, I need to add up all the daisy plants that I've counted and multiply that by 10 to get an estimate of the total population of daisies on this lawn. Remember, it's only an estimate. I haven't counted every single daisy plant, but I've estimated the population of daisy plants on an area of lawn.